Thank you so much for staying with a Fashion Watch. And indeed, my panel is uh, right here in studio, as is the case every Saturday. Very glad to have Ian Bogwa back. Ian, we missed you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Also with us in studio, as always, Carol Odero, the lovely Carol Odero. Thank you so much for being with us. And our guest panelist uh, this evening, he was here with us uh, last weekend. You asked for him to be back. So your request has been met. And Robert Borale is here with us, image consultant. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank and you. of course, the lovely Annabelle Onyango with us this evening as well. So let's get on with it. And let's begin with um, our <coughs> images uh, this week. And this is on the Nairobi fashion market. Um, and let's take a look at what we have uh, this week and what we'll be um, looking at. So there we go. That's, what do you call that, Carol? Cropped tea? <laughs> yeah, and a skirt. And um, yeah. And stunners glasses what do you think of that look Carol let me start with you well the, the crop print yeah the crop top is very much on trend mm -hmm. you know? and considering this is a fashion event I think she hit the target yeah and um, I wish I could see her shoes I always like to see people's shoes to complete the look I like the stunners because obviously it was hot I mm -hmm. think she's well put together I uh, would love to see more color on her yeah. you know, for a fashion event, uh -huh. but I think it's fine the way it is. Okay, let's yes. go back to that clip again, mm. please. Um, I'd <coughs> like to get Ian's take on what we'll be looking at. Ian, what do you like and what don't you like about that general look, from the hair to the tee to the skirt? I think I agree with her that, that it should have been colorful. Mm. Yes, that's, she played it safe. Yeah. She played it safe. Okay, and let's move on to our next clip of the day. Um, and this is still out and about Nairobi. Uh, let's move on from that clip. We've already had a look at that one. Yeah, and as we wait on that clip, um, very interesting <coughs> quote I came across uh, this week. Oh, there we go. Um, so, yeah, wow. That's mm. <laughs> bold. Very Robert, <laughs> I want to hear from you. This, of course, is a head turner <laughs> for all the guys who were out there. Totally. Yeah. I think she dressed to kill the men mm -hmm. and to make the women jealous. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's a brave woman, uh -huh. uh, totally brave. I sympathize with her boyfriend <laughs> because um, <laughs> men have egos that uh, they don't want too many men looking uh -huh. at the women. But that's a woman who's dressed very well, definitely very comfortable within herself. Yeah. Um, Annabelle, what do is you think? Is that a skirt? Is that are those, those, are jeans. those are jeans. Those are jeans. Yeah. yeah. The secret is not in the dressing, is what she has not covered. <laughs> oh, yeah. so you like it? I take it. I think she's confident, and and uh, it would be worse if she dressed like that and she has a pot belly. Okay, so it helps that she's well toned. Yes, Annabelle. I mean, I like this look very much. It's part of. Uh, a 90s revival that fashion is going through right now with the crop top yeah. and the exposed navel. Uh -huh. um, she's doing it very well. It's very grungy with the with the necklaces and uh, the ombre hair where yeah. you can s it looks like she hasn't dyed her hair, but I'm sure that's very intentional. Uh -huh. um, my only gripe would be uh, she's showing a lot of navel, so it, it's too much of a literal interpretation of that trend. Uh -huh. um, I don't think anybody really wants to see belly button anymore. So yeah. I think if her pants were a little bit higher and showing the top of her navel, mm -hmm. it's very appropriate. I'm wearing, um, I don't know if the audience at home can see, but a crop top. Uh -huh. um, all the girls are doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it helps to just have a well-toned body. Let's take a look at that clip again. I want to talk uh, to Annabelle about the fact that she's got no belt on her jeans. Um, is this a trend that... that, that, that um, is, is, is this what is in right now, I mean, no belt? I know, I wouldn't say no belt is a trend, mm -hmm. but she's wearing jeans at a, on a casual occasion, and that's completely appropriate to wear jeans that fit you okay. uh, without a belt, okay. especially with the crop top. All right, super. And let's move <coughs> on to where Ian was over the weekend. Uh -oh. And this is at the Africa Movie, <coughs> uh, Africa Magic Viewers Choice. Choice of words. Um, yeah, let's move away from that clip and take a look at what was happening there as regards yeah. fashion. Okay. Of course, it was a glamorous affair oh out yeah. in Lagos. And yes. I'll start with what that one. Um, I'm seeing Joki Mohoho yes, there, Joki Mohoho, yes. um, Ian, and I believe she bagged an award for Best Indigenous Language yes, Movie Kiswahili. in Mamandu Mamaduka. Mamaduka yes. um, I want to start with the lady next to her, the one uh, with the That's Maasai Mamaduka print dress. Herself. That's Mamaduka yes. herself. Ruth. Uh, okay, yeah, let's, 
uh, let me not start with Ian because he was there and uh, yeah let me start with you Carol. <laughs> 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 what do you think about that gown it's I think a Maasai Shuka but done to it's red she loves it no she loves actually it. that's <laughs> not <laughs> yes <laughs> deeply True. I'm, I'm actually looking at it and I'm thinking it's so it's like a moving curtain mm. or a moving oh. sofa I mean it's it's <laughs> I know the mermaid dress is, is it's supposed to give you this nice voluptuous curve, but mm. it, it's too busy, and I think it takes away from her beauty. Mm -hmm. If she would have gone with just one, either red or black, mm -hmm. then to it, because one solid block of color would work with her because she's looking hefty, and I'm pretty okay. sure she is not like that in real life. Can it's we get a full, a full shot of yeah. that again, once again, please? Um, let's take a, a, a closer look at that clip. I want to talk to. Um, Robert about Njoki Mohoho, she's um, wearing purple, is that purple or is that, I don't know what color that For is. For me, Njoki is one of the best dressed people I've ever met. Mm -hmm. uh, and what she's done there is she's, the cut is good for her body, right? And the color is good, the color is royalty. It says, I'm in control. Mm -hmm. And that's a woman who knows what she's all about. And um, being in control while receiving your award is telling those people and remember you're in Nigeria mm. where those guys are not yeah they don't easy joke. oh yeah, no no they're they are all out so we yeah. needed to be all out <coughs> and, and she's done well is that uh, all out Annabelle um the purple glam affair awards yeah I mean I I'm neither here or, or there about the purple dress to mm. tell you the truth Robert but I mean purple as for Ruth, something. I mean, I'm glad the two women are standing next to each other because you can see sort of a lady who's v playing it very safe, as Ian would say, playing it safe, mm. <laughs> and Ruth, who's really brought it. I mean, the, the awards were in Lagos. Yeah. <laughs> There's no bigger competition mm. than the, la the, the red carpet in Lagos. Right. Mm. And Ruth brought it with the drama. I mean, yeah, she's wearing sort of the Maasai Shuka blanket fabric, but she's representing Kenya. It's very obvious that she's there from our town. Yeah. So, and Ian, which of the two ladies do you think is is better dressed? I mean, oh, for I'd you, I would go with the with the Maasai one. With the Maasai yes. one, really? Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, Carol totally disagrees. I actually do. Uh -huh. I actually it's do. It's good I to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> so I, there's I this still there's think I still think the there is a way the dress could have been cut to just flatter her body shape better. I don't think this is doing justice to her. It, it's nice that you're thinking it's patriotic, but you're not just looking at these pictures because you're representing Kenya. This is going viral. It's international. People will look at it and they won't automatically think that's Kenya. I think it looks good on a body. Okay. I don't think so. Well, yes, yeah, I mean, <laughs> if we were to vote, I suppose. I, 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 I wish I could vote, but I can't. <laughs> 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 but I, 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 yeah, I mean, Carol, I think you have a point. <coughs> Ian, um, there's a gentleman on that clip I want to talk about. He's wearing an Ankara jacket with black pants and a formal shirt on the inside. Ian, are you into African print? Um, yes, what yes, yeah, I am. Do you yes, like I that? Am. Okay. Yes, I am. And it takes somebody brave to wear that. Okay. Yes. Could he have <laughs> worked it better, Robert? Do you brave think? and also sometimes stupid. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, okay. Which this is what I mean. The um, kids are watching. Sorry. <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, every time you wear a coat, uh, a jacket trying to be slim fit, and you cannot Button it. Button it. Mm. Then there's a problem. So and what from the look of it, no, 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 no. The, the port bell is from here to Lagos. Okay. You can tell for a fact. He's even <laughs> look at even his standing position. Is he Kenyan? He He's is Kenyan. Kenyan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why are you apologizing? <laughs> no, no. What I mean is, when you have a slim fit jacket, you must be able to button it and be comfortable. How do you know he can't button it? You can tell. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. You don't I need asked. to be a rocket scientist. Because he's tell. standing and he's not buttoned it. You can tell. Yes. You can tell, yes. Well, he was crude enough to say that the pot belly is from here to Lagos. I think that's <laughs> just <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> but then again, um, I think it looks pretty decent. It mm -hmm. looks good. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on to the next um, clip that's still in Lagos over the weekend where Ian was. Can we take a look at that? Yes. And I'll start with the awards. That's Nick Mutuma and Sarah mm -hmm. Hassan. Yes. I want to start with Nick Mutuma. He's wearing a tuxedo. Um, yeah, let's begin with how that, the fit of that suit, Annabelle. Mm -hmm. Does it fit well? Is it too tight? Is it too big? What do you think? Okay, obviously it's not too big. Yeah. But what, yeah. <laughs> what, do you uh, what do you think? You're implying that it's too tight, but uh, Nick Mutuma. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> out in your uh, in your <laughs> I am asking <laughs> what do you think I think that's a better way of phrasing that question yeah Nick is a small guy so he 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 really it is appropriate for Nick him Nick is have a small guy yes 
No, what he is, is not. <laughs> he's a small guy. He's petite. He's not big. But he's not small. Uh huh. Okay. Nick is not Either small. Either way, he's a slim fit suit kind of a guy. He's a young guy. You know, he's not oversized, he's not plus size. So for him, he really needs a fitted suit and he's done that. Uh, some may argue that it's a little too fitted, but I think it's, it's appropriate and he's wearing yeah. a bow tie. Mm. And I think he looks great and he's matching his date over there, Sarah Hassan. Okay. So I can't fault him. Right, okay, great. Um, Sarah Hassan's um, dress, a black, beautiful um, little number there with a bit of lace mm -hmm. detail on the thigh. I wanna hear from the guys. Ten, oh, ten out of ten. Ten out of, of ten. Doubt, because she's um, gone with a dark dress, mm -hmm. black, which complements her color skin. Mm. Uh, you like it on the top, and if you see how she's standing, you also see a little bit. Now you see, now you don't kind of think. <laughs> uh, I see mystery. she's a pretty girl. I wouldn't expect any guy to have and a problem. Before we go there, I also have to say Nick played it too safe. Uh -huh. Because when you go to Nigeria, you have to think outside the box. Mm. That is the safest way of dressing when you go for a gala dinner or what's very smart but the bota kind of thing he played too safe so it's not it's neither here nor nigerians there. to intimidate them yeah you must be so out of the box totally out of the box what would you rather he was well, he's very smart mm. uh he'd have gone with even a red bow tie or mm. green mm. something totally out of the of the norm without looking like a waiter no that's it, my concept now Carol, what do you black think about is when design? you look more like a waiter oh okay yeah. Actually, with a white blazer, it would definitely be a waiter. Yeah. But actually, I think Nick Mutuma's tux is just on the smaller side. Because mm. I see his pants look like they're riding up a little. And he's, his pants barely touch his pants. I mean, the slim fit is supposed to or it's supposed to at least touch your shoes. Mm -hmm. But for him, it's, it's, I think it's just one size. So even the, the jacket seems a little tight on the arms. Yeah. Um, I love Sarah Hassan's look. It's very sexy, mm. very now, very Beyonce on the red carpet. Mm. You know? And I also love that she went with black because she's very voluptuous and curvy at the bottom. Right. So I think for her, yeah, for me that's it's a, a good yeah. look. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. Yeah. I like that dress. Ian, what do you think about sorry, the tux? Question, her bag, mm. the color of her bag. I wish she'd gone with something bolder. That kind of disappears because, uh -huh. you know, you see her body and then you want something kapow yeah. with the look uh -huh. and that's missing with the accessories. Okay, Ian, I want to, uh, to get your views. Out of, yeah. out of her on. Yeah. Okay, I want to get your views, Ian, mm. on Nick Mutuma's tax, seeing that you were there and you saw him one-on-one. -on -one. What did you think about a the fit of that? too tight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It should have been a bit looser. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. There's, a thin a line there's a thin line a between tat. slim fit and uh, tight. Yeah. It's a very thin line. Because yeah. then you have so to sit and, and, you know, you yes. don't, yeah, you yeah. don't want think buttons flying. Exactly. <laughs> and and then I think we should give a shout out to the designer of Sarah Hassan's dress, actually, who yeah. is One Boy Mukemi. One Boy Mukemi. Oh. And um, mm. I yes. she did an incredible job on mm. that, on that dress on Sarah. Mm. And also, I think there's something to be told about when you go to a big event to always sort of get something custom mm -hmm. made for your body. Yes. Because mm. these are, yeah. this is the result. Mm. You don't get something off the rack yeah. because yeah. you just don't know where that's going to go. Yeah, that's a stunning, stunning gown. Let's move on. <coughs> um, take a look at what else we have from um, Lagos. Ooh. That's Barbara Minishi. Mm -hmm. And this wow. is the red carpet. Yes. So, yeah. And you know, Barbara, usually, for those of us who've worked with her, this is not her usual everyday mm -hmm. look. Mm -hmm. So, let me start with you, Carol. This is, I think, for me, a winner. Mm -hmm. This is stunning. This, for me, was actually one of the best dressed at the red carpet because Barbara is in really good shape. You know, she has. A really toned body, and this like actually yours. shows up. <laughs> <laughs> like yours. Yeah, the arms. <laughs> and Carol, your arms as well. Arm, wow, yes, you guys. Arms, yeah. The shoulders, a narrow waist, the curve of the hips. It's absolutely perfect, especially for her, because it's a surprise. Because mm. most people don't expect her to bring it on the red carpet, because she's normally very understated in real life. Yeah. This was perfect. And then when she turns at the back, then you see it's, it's a low ride. You know, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. I loved it. This was my best dress, actually. Fantastic. Yes. And, and, you know, Barbara won Best Art Director yes, she did. Um, in Nairobi Half Life. Congratulations, yeah. Barbara. Annabelle, what do you think? I agree with Carol 100%. Mm. Mm. Uh, Barbara Mini, she really brought it to the red carpet. She wore a color, white, which mm. is risky, mm. but she has the body to carry it off, and mm. it's such a beautiful contrast against the red carpet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she has big hair, and she has that, if she turns around, like Carol mm. said, she has that low back, mm. yeah. and she looks like a Grecian goddess. She yeah. really brought it. I mean, this is Esther Saith, that's the designer, mm. who, again, custom made this especially for her, oh, yeah. and wow. it worked. Great, yeah. great. Um, I want to get your views, <laughs> gentlemen, on the African print clutch that she's I don't know if this is a question best addressed to the guys but let me just hear what, <laughs> <laughs> what you think she's carrying an African print clutch um, yeah she missed it 
I, I think you guys have been paid. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> miss what? In the what did you miss? <laughs> You've missed out a lot. I the think you've been paid. The okay. dress. Okay. No, no, what Tell I'm us saying, what you hang missed. on, hang on. What I'm saying, yes. I would give a 7 over 10. But the way you guys are talking, it's like 11 over 10. This is what I'm going to say. Mm. I wish you had not covered too much. You should you've see the back. You should see the back. Because when she turns it really yes. low, it is a now very unfortunately, sexy Unfortunately, I'm only giving my judgment according to what you're seeing. Well, sadly. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Unless you can get the Agreed. back. It would, it would have been nice to see that. It would have been nice to see exactly. that because right if you would have seen it, I'm yes. only going to give my comments based on what I'm seeing. Uh -huh. okay, I'm, I'm not so prophetic to see at the back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now, what I'm going to say is <laughs> because. <laughs> now, that's <laughs> why in the West, when they do the red carpet, they've also got the place where they, the model just stands and we we're given a 360. I yeah. think she's very smart, but she has a very good toned body. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think she should have covered it all the way. Mm -hmm. Okay for us to see mm -hmm. her strongholds. Mm -hmm. You understand? Her stronghold. So <laughs> <laughs> no, what I mean is, yeah. no, don't get it wrong. What I mean is her strengths. But you can see Look the at arms. Look how Carlo is dressed. We she can has see very it. Okay. No, no, no. Release a little bit of here so mm -hmm. that we appreciate more mm -hmm. than I'd have given her maybe 10 over 10. Done very well, mm -hmm. 7 over 10. African print clutch. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. And then we'll move to the guy behind mm -hmm. her. I think that's, that must be a Nigerian. <laughs> he's, he's, he's wearing that look. <laughs> <laughs> that <we're> <laughs> <talking> <laughs> <about> <laughs> the, red, the white jacket and the, the red bow tie. Mm -hmm. The guy standing behind uh, Barbara Minishi. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, for a tax. I don't know. What do you think about that? Ian. Um. Hmm. Six, six, six out of yeah. ten. White six jacket, ten. Um, Carol. I'm, I'm not sure about the black shirt inside the white jacket. That's why I'm hesitating to give him any score. I actually wish he'd gone with the white shirt. I mean, that's very bold, and that's why they're saying he must be Nigerian because it's definitely out of the box. Yeah. And is that I like white it. socks? Yes. Uh, no, I think it's the it's a detail it's on the shoe. I think it's a buckle on the shoe. Yeah. But I still I still prefer the white blazer with a white shirt. Then you can do the red bow tie because there is I mean I know it's African, but there is a limit to how much red carpet yeah. rules you can actually break and still <laughs> look good. Robert, is yeah. that what you meant when <coughs> you said that Nick Mutoma could have perhaps played around with his? Yeah, because when you play too safe, you'd rather get it out of the box and get it so wrong on that side. Okay. But that's you too dangerous. That this safe and then this dangerous. Like you but said, you know what? And this that tells me a lot about that gentleman. Yeah. It, it, it tells me a lot about his belief in himself. Mm. What, that he tries too hard? <laughs> 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 you know, for the Nigerians, honestly, you know, I don't care what you think. This is about me and yeah. how good I feel and what I'm wearing. And if you have that kind of yeah. attitude, yeah. you will conquer every place you go. No well, you, he's shaking. clearly not conquered the red carpet. First, okay, the problem I have, is that a one-button suit? Yeah, it is. The button is too high for a short man like this one. Mm. Yes, that's he why he got it Yeah, short. he is a bit short. Yeah. Okay. So that's L what makes the distance between the shirt and the, that's why it looks weird. Yes. 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 Okay, yeah. let's move on to the next clip. Um, and this is still um, from Lagos. And yeah, we had a couple of Kenyan actors out there. This is Liz Njaga. Wow. Um, <laughs> Annabelle, you're looking at me. I want Annabelle to <laughs> <laughs> Annabelle, ah. do you like this look? She's got the um, silver detail on the bodice, and then she's got the silver shoes, she's got the silver clutch, she's got the big hair. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I'll start by saying that I really like the hair. Mm -hmm. I really like that weave that she's wearing. The bang is the really bang. cool. It's okay. a very heavy bang, very mm -hmm. modern and cool. Um, I mean, the dress is okay. It's okay. There's, like you had alluded to, it's very matchy-matchy mm. with the silver panel in the front and the silver clutch and the silver shoe. Um, and also, I think this dress is, you know, it could be 1984, it could be 1994, mm. it could be any decade. And so it are feels... Are you saying it's an old look? What are you saying? I'm, I'm saying it's not, a, it's not the most contemporary look she could have chosen. Okay. Why are you giggling, Robert? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, well, personally, I think she did very well. Mm. Really? And the fact that maybe she does a lot of work in Nigeria, mm -hmm. she, she brought it home. I think she showed up. I think she showed up. Oh. Uh, look at the shoes. Then look at uh, the silver on her dress and the back. <coughs> there was a bit of matching, and silver, and is that green or something? Well, Turquoise, yeah. probably. That mm, one. Yeah. Th there's bravery there, combined with smartness. Carol. And what I like about her, she carries herself very well. Well, okay. I think that this is, um, how do I put this nicely? I think it's like a prom <laughs> dress, if I look at it. <laughs> oh because 
It's, it's like um, something that someone young wears if they're not sure about what their red carpet look should be. Oh. So for me, I, I feel like, you know, she's so mature and she's very sexy and she has this beautiful upper body, you know. I just, I don't feel like she showed her best self with this outfit. Mm -hmm. Ian, you really saw her one-on-one. Yeah. -on -one. She was, was she my striking? date. Yes, she was. <laughs> <laughs> she was my date. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you thought she brought it. Yes, she I uh, yes. Okay. She's, done, she's done a lot of this mm. in Lagos. Mm. So she knew what she was wearing and she knew why she was wearing it. Why oh. was she wearing it? To make to make to make um, an impact, okay. which okay. she did. Okay. Yeah. Wow. But I mean, out of uh, we've, we've seen three ladies so far, mm -hmm. uh, guys on, yeah. on on this red carpet. We've seen Sarah Hassan. We've seen Barbara Minishi, and then now there's Liz Njaga. Um, I want you guys to just rate the <laughs> best look out of the three. <laughs> I'll start with the <laughs> animal. Oh no! Which, <laughs> which, no, no, no. <laughs> which for you? Because I want. I mean, no people are watching and mm -hmm. they're wondering. You know, if you're on a red carpet, which look? perhaps would be the safest and best to step out in. Lily, so it's hard for me to rate these ladies because they came out with completely different looks. But so which is the best look for I you? Which is the winning look for, for you? It's difficult for me to say. Which is the best look? No, it's difficult <laughs> for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to pick one, but yeah. I'm going to say, for me, it's a toss-up between Barbara Minishi's white Grecian gown mm -hmm. and Sarah Hassan. Yes. <laughs> and, okay. and Sarah Hassan Sarah. And, the, and the lace panels. Mm -hmm. It's completely two different looks, but I think they're okay. equally so amazing. So those did it for you? Yes. Yeah, okay. Annabelle uh, was vocal about the fact that she thinks Liz's look isn't as contemporary. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? For Sarah you? Hassan. Sarah Hassan? Yes. Carries yes. the day for you. you. Barbara Minishi, for sure. Barbara. Yes. Okay, great. And mm. you, Ian? Sarah Hassan. <laughs> Sorry, not I your knew, date. I knew it. Hey! <laughs> 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 Not your date. Well, yeah. okay. And shock on you, Ian, <laughs> because <laughs> coming up next is the amazing, the very handsome and well-dressed Ian Bogwa. Yeah. He was uh, <laughs> we are was in you. Oh, no. Oh, joy. <laughs> <laughs> so Ian uh, chose <laughs> not to go with a tie. Um, you've got the um, little, um, what do you call that? Pocket Breast square. Pocket, yeah, pocket square. And... <laughs> Yeah, tell us about why you chose that particular look, Ian. <laughs> I just put it on. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look good. What, Carol, why are you so hysterical? <laughs> well, because uh, it's me on it. <laughs> 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 Go on. Well, first of all, um, why did you not wear a tux? And then the pocket square and the shirt are different colors. I love the shirt because it brings the you know the gray highlights in your hair. But I just it was so casual. For yes, carpet. Why are you trying to just flaunt the rules? Like, I am Ian, I can break exactly. all the rules, I don't care. Ah, exactly. Okay. okay, Robert, exactly. is this, I'm, and I don't want you guys to <laughs> sort of like, No, <laughs> please, bring it on. Please right, bring it on. Um, the cut is very good. Mm. Fits him very well with his body. Can we see the picture again? Yeah, let's yeah, have the please. clip again. Let's take a look at that again. Poor Ian. Uh, <laughs> no! He doesn't care. I don't right. care. Apart from, apart from looking scared in the photo. <laughs> 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 see, that, that's why they should tell you they're taking the photograph. You looked at uh, someone with a mobile phone. You looked at two different cameras. <laughs> no, the shirt is very good, and it, it goes well with the jacket. The only mm. problem I have is the color of the shirt does not go very with well the, yes. with, with, with the pocket yes. yeah. uh, But I think the look is good. Uh, it shows you're a very easy guy. Mm. Easy, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It shows that he's arrogant. Of course, the body, language, <laughs> the body language between him and Liz, I don't think, I think shows Liz that was that's looking at date. the official photographer. <laughs> Ian was looking at Luke brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, very, very interesting. <sighs> um, and that was the African Magic Viewers' Choice <laughs> Awards. Um, so before we go to the style tips of uh, the week, because I think we're done with... Um, with those clips, uh, this week's clips, um, I came across this quote, fashion changes, but style and yours. Caro, what is your style? Let me begin with what my style is. My style is very conservative. I'm loyal to brands. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't mix them up. Like if I love Zara, mm -hmm. that's me. Mm -hmm. If I love my Givenchy mm -hmm. perfume, that's me. Mm -hmm. So what's your style? Just share with us. I, I always dread getting asked this question, first mm. of all, because I've never really defined my style. But because I've been anticipating a moment such as this, <laughs> you practice. I, I, can only, I can only pick three words that come to my mind, classic, glamorous, and sexy. Mm -hmm. So wow. those are the, the things that I try to incorporate in my dressing when I, when I put it together, yes. Okay. So yeah. what are you today? <laughs> 
I, I don't know. I haven't thought no, about no, that. No, no, you <coughs> just said that's what you incorporate when you... Classic, okay. glamorous and sexy. Yeah, yes. and what yes. is your style? What is, what what is, is your have your no style? style? Oh, I can tell you he's arrogant. <laughs> that's his style. <laughs> okay. right. He just puts it on because he can. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we've come from the classy, <laughs> classy, classic, glamorous yeah. and sexy. Mm -hmm. Mine is conservative. Annabelle, what is yours? I mean, I think I would say I'm eclectic. Mm -hmm. And by that I mean, I'm, I'm, I consider myself a fashion chameleon, yeah. which means I'll try pretty much anything within mm. reason. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Robert? I take anything and I make it look good. And it does say. And you're blue, actually. Uh, yes. today. This is That's very nice. Yes. Very. very nice. Thank Ian you very much. Ian likes I, I, it. I do appreciate it. It mm. shows I'm in touch with a very sensitive side of me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very bold as well. <laughs> and I just know how to coordinate myself. And so very arrogant. <laughs> 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 it takes one to know another. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, okay. yeah, I just believe in... T give me a t-shirt written Jogo. So guys, see, there's nothing wrong with wearing pink. I mean, I, this this is actually pink. And, and, and a lot of guys are like, I, I would never wear, wear pink. pink. It's then just that it wasn't ironed. <laughs> when I was <laughs> rushing here. I was going to wear a pink shirt. Just yeah. don't wear pink socks. That's mm -hmm. it. As a man. Oops! Th don't worry. <laughs> I <don't> wear pink <laughs> socks. I don't so, um, fashion uh, uh, style tips of the week as we as we close. Um, let's take a look at those. Um, and there we go. Less is more. Indecent exposure isn't classy. And this is Annabelle's opening quote um, when we first started this show. Less is more. Uh, she talked about that. Dress your age. <sighs> Annabelle, dress your age meaning... <laughs> We don't want to see 40-year-olds perhaps pulling that cropped T look with the navel. Absolutely ring. not. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, I think the navel look is, you know, reserved for the t the 20-year-olds and under. Mm -hmm. um, I'm 32 and I do it, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> I give myself great. carte blanche. Um, I, dressing for your age basically means covering up appropriately, which I think Kenyan women do actually very well. Yeah. And I think the rule of thumb is always maintain balance. So if you decide to have um, an exposed upper body, then always cover up the bottom. And mm -hmm. if you decide to wear a mini skirt, cover up the top mm -hmm. so that there's always balance and there mm -hmm. isn't this issue of too much skin. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's thank you for that, Annabelle. Let's move on um, with the style tips of the week. Um, go back to those. Um, if you feel uncomfortable, you probably look uncomfortable. Mm. Ian, you love, you love <coughs> saying this, even on Task of Project Film. <laughs> I think this is one of your favorite um, quotes. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. If you're feeling funny, then <laughs> definitely, you know, you need to, be, you dress and you look at yourself and you feel good. Then you'll be more confident. Okay. Yes, yeah. and, it, and it'll translate to other people. It'll, does it translate? It'll go to other people as mm. well. People can sense when, yes, you're, yeah, yes. when you're feeling a bit, yeah, <laughs> like your pants are a bit too tight. Um, <laughs> let's move on. Let's take a look at the third style tip, and that is on body shapers. Carol, let's talk about this. How do you, I mean, a lot of women uh, say that mm. these things are uncomfortable, mm. that, you know, I would just rather just have my bulge show because <laughs> I can't breathe in those things. Well, um, you know, you being comfortable makes other people uncomfortable mm. so that's the reason why body shapers actually do <laughs> exist it's supposed to contain you yeah you know it just there is it's more flattering the way an outfit fits when you're wearing a body shaper it it's co it, it's not supposed to be a cl a, like a crutch you know mm. you're supposed to uh, uh, hopefully you're supposed to get in shape at some point yeah but ideally if you're going to wear closely fitted clothes you should wear a body shaper you mm -hmm. know for the abs and yeah. for the bum and for the hips okay. because it makes the clothes fall better it makes it fit better it makes you look better it mm -hmm. gives you more confidence and it doesn't make other people uncomfortable when they look at you because your bulges are showing right you know just respect yourself because they'll think you don't mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, and you know they're readily available in leading malls mm -hmm. and even you know Toy market, mm -hmm. Ikomba, mm -hmm. what yeah. have you. You can find those. Uh, let's move on uh, very quickly as we wind up. Um, the power of peplum. Try peplum for an instant slimming effect. You know what? I This peplum story, I, it's all over Nairobi. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, Annabelle, you're saying yes yeah. because I think you're fed up with, yeah. with this mm. peplum story. The peplum story has been really killed, used to death yeah. by Kenyan ladies. Mm. Um, it's a beautiful silhouette. It's very flattering. It's very forgiving because of that sort of frill mm. that really complements a woman's hips. But, I mean, we've been doing it for years yeah. now. It's time to, it's time to close that story. What is a good alternative? Story. If you want to get that slimming effect with your hips and your tummy and your 
are a belt, yeah. cinch your waist. Mm -hmm. you've, you've done it today, you've cinched your waist, and yeah. that gives you a really nice hourglass figure and really defines your waist. Okay. And that's a, you know, forget the peplum, it's over and done with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really. Everywhere. I really. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm the queen of peplum. <laughs> Let me just, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> So let's move on to uh, the last style tip, I believe, of the day. And this is on limiting accessories. Mm -hmm. Robert, mm -hmm. the you know, there's ladies who are just into the rings, the big loops, the bangles, the what have you. Having I like mean. four rings in three fingers and all that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's wrong. It, it's, it's uh, um, <laughs> <I'm sorry>. um, <laughs> <laughs> what? What it is, the problem with that is um, you're trying too many things at the same time. So what state of mind are you in? You know, you're taking this, before you walk out of the house, you pick <coughs> another one. And besides, avoid airports when you go with those all, all those accessories. Mm. Yeah, so just less is better. Annabelle. I don't course, know. Of course, no, I'm it's gonna not disagree. True. Yes, with the millions of rings on my hands. Yes. Like <laughs> what do you need all these for? Aren't they pretty? <laughs> they're pretty, <laughs> but they're very pretty. one by one. Yeah. And look, let's zoom in on Annabelle's fingers and just see how she's done her rings. Um, I think, yeah, to Annabelle, please. Um, that's a very okay. Yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah. There you go, Annabelle. Um, yeah. That's that's interesting. Can I tell as you can the see, is? they're not mm. all on the same level. Not if yeah. I shake your hand as a man, I want a feminine hand. Uh, yeah. You know? There are too many things here. That's a problem. You understand? I think that's beautiful. How beautiful. I think you're bold. Thank and you. I think you. But there are too many. This for Monday, this for Tuesday, this for Wednesday. <laughs> Forget Robert. Annabelle, <laughs> tell us the story behind the rings and just having oh, them. Yeah. My rings are another sort of expression of my eclectic fashion personality, mm -hmm. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they each ring comes from a different place and they mean something to me and I know Whoa. I sit with my jeweler in Kibera and we make some of the rings and some of them people give me some of them I buy some of them are from designers so it's really a fashion story more than it is just sort of jewelry yeah and I've, I've, I'm just talking about the fact that they're not all on a you yes know. I mean, uh, these days rings come, you mm -hmm. can wear them sort of all over your fingers. Mm. This is the meaty ring, which is the one that sits right in the middle. Mm -hmm. And it's really a fashion story. That it's, a, it's, a, it's a big visual sort of appeal, I think. I love that. It and and yeah. Also, by the way, when you're doing accessories, for me, I have a rule of five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh -huh. So that's, if, if, you going, if you're going to go more than that, then you, you need to have a certain kind of um, je ne sais quoi about you. Okay. Otherwise, you can't pull it off. Isn't um, that part of it? Well, that could be. But, you know, there is a point where if you have, like, big earrings that count as two separate pieces of accessories, then you might as well just go easy on the necklace. Mm. Okay. So just, okay. just, just keep it light. Really. My only accessory usually is my watch and yeah. my earrings, but yeah. that's just because I'm on the news. And yeah. you know, <laughs> but then, uh, yeah, see me after this and I'll have Annabelle's, <laughs> yeah. Annabelle's look going yeah. on. Yeah. So thank you so much, guys. Um, it's been great. Um, mm. I hope you've learned a bit more <laughs> <laughs> from this show. We'll see you again next Saturday. As always, looking forward to what our experts have to say mm -hmm. about our images of the week and indeed looking forward to getting your feedback as well. But before we sign off, let's take a look at your feedback. I believe we have some tweets. There we go. Fashion Watch, this segment is amazing. I'm learning from it. Thank you, Brian. Um, great show, guys. Fashion Watch, thank you. Um, that Nick Mutuma slim fit suit defies fashion. <laughs> it's too tight for a slim fit. No, fashion watch. Ian thought as, 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 as much. Um, it, that, this program is so good. I like the comments from the panel. And Sarah Hassan had a womanly instinct in that dress. Fashion <laughs> watch, that's F for Kango. Yeah, Sarah was winning in that one. And yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I think guys are, are making a bit of money. They want to dress well. They want to look good. Mm -hmm. So thank you for appreciating the show. Uh, Michael Kenya is up next to the day sports. We'll see you in a bit.